So I'm here with Mark Pilgrim, uh, who recently joined Google and has an exciting new project to talk about. So first, can you introduce yourself, Mark? Uh, yes, uh, my name is Mark Pilgrim. I recently joined Google. Um, I'm primarily a uh, technical writer, and I have been writing and writing. And uh, how has that writing continued as you as you joined Google? What's the project that you know, you've been working on? Well, it's uh, it's it's a uh, a combination of, of things. Uh, we like to refer to it internally as the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Web, although <laughs> we probably can't use that name externally. But uh, uh, it's, it's an encyclopedia for, for web developers by web developers. And we have a lot of talented web developers here, and it draws a lot on the, uh, the experience that, uh, that, our own, that our own engineers have developed. Why are you excited about this project? Have you like felt this pain before of, of doing open web development? Or? Well, sure, and I, it's it's uh, it's a complicated environment. Obviously, anyone who has written a, a web app more complicated than Hello World has uh, has come into browser incompatibilities, uh, and it's it's a real minefield in terms of uh, CSS support, uh, JavaScript support. Things that uh, haven't even been standardized, like XML HTTP request, um, you know, all these uh, these de facto standards for for getting things done on the web. Uh, and so, you know, I, obviously there's there's MSDN, which uh, is in a class by itself for documenting uh, Microsoft technologies, which is great. Uh, but uh, in, in order to work in Safari. Um, you, you need more than that, and, and you, you just can't find it from Microsoft. It's not on MSDN. And, and we want to fill that gap. Uh, we want to be the, the cross-platform DN. Um, and it's, it's, you know, it's Firefox, it's um, uh, Safari on Mac, well actually and on Windows now as well, um, and uh, even, even Opera on, on mobile platforms, um, and uh, there's there's a, a growing number of people in the world who are running browsers other than IE, who are running on platforms other than Windows, right. and it is in Google's best interests to ensure that people develop for the open web and people develop with these other browsers and other platforms in mind. So is that why Google is doing this, you think? Um, yes, well, it, it's part of a broader uh, push within Google to uh, reach out more to developers, uh, to, to have more of a developer relations ecosystem. And we've done that uh, successfully with some of our uh, Google-specific APIs, uh, the Google Gadgets, the Google Earth, uh, uh, and a number of others that are documented on, on code.google.com. But this is really a much more far-reaching effort. We don't want to be specifically uh, targeting Google technologies. Uh, we want to target the the entire open web. And by open web, I mean, you know, Gmail runs on Firefox under Linux on, you know, it runs on uh, the iPhone, it runs on uh, Safari on Max, it runs on it even runs on Internet Explorer on Windows. Um, and it does things that no other web application has ever done, you know, things like the live chat uh, integrated with, uh, with, with the uh, mail reading. Um, it's, and we, we want there to be more apps like that. Right. We want other people to be able to create apps like Gmail without resorting to um, browser-specific extensions or uh, vendor-specific runtimes. Uh, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with uh, with developing if 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 you know that you want to limit yourself to to something like Silverlight or something like Flash, then and and you're okay with limiting yourself to the platforms that are supported, uh, then you know you, you can do that. But we we want all of our properties to work beyond that. And people, you know, just to give a recent example, uh, the iPhone came out and it has no flash support. 
I don't know if they're going to add flash support. Uh, maybe by the time you see this, they will have added flash support. But, um, you know, anything that uh, relies on flash suddenly doesn't work on the iPhone. That's an entire market that you've you've completely cut out. Right. So did you go to the Google engineers that worked on Gmail to get tips and tricks from on how they actually got this stuff to work as part of I the did research? actually uh, and this is a big part of the uh, of the encyclopedia and the guide is not just having a reference section but having a series of uh, how-to articles and and larger case studies and those articles are primarily based around previously unreleased Google code that we are open sourcing as part of this uh, project. Wow. Uh, we have a JavaScript library that handles a lot of cross-browser compatibility issues which we use in properties like Gmail. If you've ever viewed source you see the compiled version uh, which isn't terribly readable. Uh, as part of this uh, encyclopedia project we are releasing the uh, the original uncompiled version that has, you know, actual comments and real function names and, and <laughs> descriptions of things. And uh, anyway, so that that is all open sourced under uh, a, a uh, OSI approved license, a liberal license. So the uh, content and the code, all of both it the content on. and the code are going to be uh, uh, open source. The uh, the content under a, a Creative Commons attribution license and the, all the code under, uh, I believe it's uh, a BSD-like license, a liberal uh, uh, open source license, uh, standard license. So did you build this encyclopedia on uh, tools that you had to create, or MediaWiki, or what's behind it? Uh, well, uh, funny you should mention MediaWiki. It is not MediaWiki, but it is a, a, uh, a wiki. Uh, this is not just something that we're throwing out there as, as a read-only, um, uh, you know, static set of pages that we then go update every now and then. This is a full-fledged community effort. Uh, it, uh, and any page on this uh, encyclopedia will be editable, including the articles uh, and all the reference documentation. It will be editable by anyone. Just log in with your Google account uh, and you can edit it. Uh, it is based on uh, Google project hosting uh, infrastructure. Uh, the same that you can you know sign up on code.google.com and have your own uh, subversion repository, have your own project wiki. Uh, this is the same thing. It actually uh, uses the subversion backend, which means that you'll be able to not only view this and uh, download it, but uh, you'll be able to do an SVN checkout uh, to download uh, to check out the entire encyclopedia, all the the code, sample code, test cases and all of the pros uh, that, that constitutes the, uh, the how-to articles and the, the reference section. So I could, on my intranet, have a local copy for everyone to use, for example? Yes, yes. You could, you could uh, not only could you have a local copy, uh, but if you, uh, obviously it would be, it would be read-only. Um, if you wanted to have, you know, a, 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 a static, so you create a static version of a uh, you know, snapshot of the entire encyclopedia. You can do an SVN checkout. Uh, we're releasing a little uh, formatter Python script uh, that will convert the wiki markup into uh, static HTML, and you could publish that on your own intranet, uh, carry it around with you on your laptop, do whatever you, you know, load it up in your browser offline, um, whatever you liked. And then anytime you wanted to uh, get the latest version, you could do an SVN update and it would download all the latest code, the latest uh, test cases, the latest articles, everything. So th this is a large we uh, large effort. How do you like keep up with this stuff? I mean, every day things are changing. Oh, yeah, well, you know, um, that's when I say it's the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Web. Uh, part of the Hitchhiker's Guide was that it was necessarily incomplete <laughs> in, in many respects. You know, it was uh, wrong, dead wrong in some respects. It was uh, incomplete. It was, you know, the, the classic example of Earth, uh, the, the entire article about Earth being uh, mostly harmless. Uh, the, the, there are some pages like that, you know, where we wish we could fill it out more and we can't. Um, there are always new techniques being discovered uh, in this space. Uh, things like uh, on DOM, con uh, DOM content loaded uh, to, uh, you know, fire uh, execute code when the DOM is ready, uh, but before images and, and other external resources have, have uh, had a chance to load. Uh, 
you know, the, every few months there's <laughs> there's a new technique uh, for you know a cleaner way of doing this cross browser and some you know some browsers like uh, 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 Firefox and Opera, uh, recent versions of Opera, support it natively. Uh, other browsers need you know script hacks and uh, uh, strange polling and uh, anyway, uh, you know there's there's always new stuff going on. We hope to foster a community of uh, like-minded web developers who all care about this right. um, to go update uh, with new links, uh, new uh, sample code um, for for all of these techniques as they evolve. Um, and as I said, we're you know we're seeding a lot of that with our own previously unreleased code. But I'm sure that uh, our code is not perfect. Uh, I'm sure that there are people in the world who will look at that code and say, Oh no, I can do better. <laughs> do it. Yeah. Do it. Um, you know, uh, it, it's all open and it's all uh, freely editable. And we hope to, to foster an entire community around uh, keeping it up to date. And, you know, as new browsers come out, uh, new platforms come out, uh, updating compatibility information, as new techniques evolve. Uh, so they're going to be like code. compatibility guides and charts? And yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. Well, uh, a big part of the reference section is uh, cross browser compatibility charts. Um, the uh, the tier one browsers, the IE six and seven, Firefox two and three, Safari, um, and uh, even there, it, a lot of the uh, sample code that we're seeding uh, has specific uh, uh, bug fixes or workarounds for Opera as well. Um, so yeah, targeting all the uh, the major browsers on all platforms. Great. Well, I'm really excited to, to see this getting out there, and I'm. Uh, oh, me too. Yeah, I'm sure you are. The sooner we get it out, the sooner I can. Um, the, the the sooner I get it out, the we get it out there. The sooner we can start building a, a community of people to, to keep it up to date. I mean, at this point, it's just a, a ticking time bomb. The you know every month we keep this to ourselves, uh, things get more out of date, yeah. and, and you know we just. We're, we're big and we're talented and we can't keep up with this yeah. ourselves. Yeah. We just can't. Uh, but, uh, you know, the whole world, maybe we could. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us about it. Thank you. The entire thing is based on...